<laughs> on Sunday, President Trump retweeted someone who posted this animated GIF, which has been making the rounds on Twitter, showing him hitting a golf ball, which then strikes Hillary Clinton in the back and knocking her down. Knowing that our friends at CNN have no sense of humor, I went to CNN.com to see what they had to say about this, and I found that it was literally their top story. Trump hits Clinton with a golf ball on Twitter. Yes, with everything going on in the world, this wasn't just a story on CNN, it was the top story! For any president or public official, retweeting an image that seems to make light of violence against women would be questionable. But for this president, the retweet follows a pattern of behavior in which Trump has either seemed to find it acceptable to joke about violence against women and those he disagrees with, or to make not-so-subtle comments that seem to incite it. That's right, CNN, it's a secret code calling for the assassination of Hillary. But this is just an article on their website, you're saying. They wouldn't actually dedicate any airtime to this non-story, would they? Uh, this retweet by the president <clears throat> this morning. Uh, he was very active on Twitter this morning. If you see there, there's no sound. It was, it's an image of the president golfing, a golf ball hitting Hillary Clinton and knocking her down oh. from the back. Oh. David Urban. I know how Senator Santorum feels about his tweets. Is this appropriate? Is this appropriate? Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's hilarious. Let's go to the angry Mexican lady. I'm sure she'll have something reasonable to say. When decent people, decent Republicans, who I knew, I know would judge Democrats differently, give and normalize what Donald Trump is doing. We cannot normalize this kind of behavior from the President of the United States. He is still an example. If your six-year-old son did this, he'd be punished. I know that's probably a little hard for some people to understand her since English is her second language. So let me just translate what she said. She literally said that if your 16-year-old son did this, he would be punished. You hear that, kids? No posting funny gifts allowed or you're going to be grounded. And they pay this woman for her opinions. He's being a jerk and he's not being a precedent. That's an interesting way to leave this morning's Absolutely. conversation. More in the green room. But that's just CNN. You're saying they're a 24-hour news network and have to fill the airtime with something. Certainly the trusted ABC World News wouldn't waste any time on this non-story during their 30-minute precious broadcast, would they? Tonight, President Trump arriving in New York ahead of his first UN General Assembly meeting after a flurry of tweets earlier today. Retweeting this doctored video appearing to show Trump hitting a golf ball into Hillary Clinton's back, causing her to fall, from an account that has posted anti-Semitic comments in the past. Anti-Semitic comments? Let me guess, they posted some Pepe memes? Pepe the Cartoon Frog has been designated a hate symbol by the Anti-Defamation League, in case you haven't heard. Tonight, no comment from the White House. Trump also tweeting about his call with South Korea's president on North Korea's recent missile launch. No comment from the White House. Not only are they reporting on it, but they called the White House to get a comment about it. But certainly MSNBC wouldn't stoop to the level of CNN and dedicate an entire segment to this, right? Uh, let's, 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 do you have that? Yeah, so. No, oh, come on. Okay. What? So that's the president of the United States who tweeted out oh, uh, come this. come on. Um, <laughs> and... Mark. I don't love that. Um, I don't love it. <laughs> well, of course. Okay. I'm serious. Uh, General Kelly that. took a nap. No more, no more loops on that. Yeah. So that's a, Stop. That, that's the president of the United States. That's in, in the midst of a crisis with North Korea. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get that tweet. Problematic. Mi Mika, Mika, so here you have, again, uh, it, this is a guy who... Um, <laughs> Look at him. They're just totally speechless. Uh, it, this is a guy who... Um, again, should put the campaign behind him. He just can't do it. And, and I, I don't know. I, yeah. I, I, I just, I know it's considered to be a joke. It's a bad joke when you have the President of the United States in that position uh, talking about knocking over a woman, his former opponent. Jeez. What do you mean he can't put the campaign behind him? It's you liberal lunatics who can't get over the election. We would have all pretty much forgotten about Hillary Clinton by now if she wouldn't have crawled back out from the pits of hell to promote her pathetic book. And speaking of not being able to put the campaign behind you, The New Yorker just tweeted this. This is the cover we would have published had Hillary Clinton defeated Donald Trump. They didn't post this a day after the election, or a week, or a month. They posted it yesterday, 10 months after the election. Well, this is the cover we would have published if she would have won. It's her standing in the Oval Office looking out the window at the moon, which I guess is appropriate because she's probably howling at it. But thankfully the meme masters who never let us down fixed the cover and changed the moon into the Death Star. 
I'm Mark Dice. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and check back here every day for new reports. I hope you visit my online store. Check the link in the description below where you can get some cool stuff like my liberals and find a care shirt or my you are fake news shirt. There's also some coffee mugs there and some other things. Your purchase helps keep this channel going so I appreciate your support. Stay tuned and I'll see you tomorrow.